the BNN News. I'm Norman B. Today, thousands of people are lined up outside of New Orleans at the Paris Line. They can't get back in. They're being blocked out. Blackwater government agencies, including Homeland Security, are there. Homeland Security, I always thought that it was a bad idea to name a U.S. government department after a Nazi government department, but they went ahead and did it. But they've sent these people there, the Homeland Security, to patrol a place where the residents of New Orleans and the other southern parishes there live. And they're not letting them back in. It's a humanitarian crisis. It's not a catastrophe, like it could have been if, if all these people drowned, but it is a crisis. They're there with their, with their children. They're trying to, to get back home, and they're just stranded outside because the military installation there of police and government officers is not letting them back into their homes. The conventions. After seeing the Olympics with China's free speech zone, Americans were ready for the Democratic Party to have a free speech zone too. At the Democratic Convention, of course, people were arrested for trying to protest outside of free speech zone. They followed the example of China also in that people who went to the free speech zone at the Olympics were arrested and are now in prison. People who went to the free speech zone at the Democratic Party were herded into an area where they were tear gassed and then arrested. That's right, they were tortured and then arrested for going to the free speech zone. At the Republican convention, things were even worse. They've been arresting journalists and torturing some of them. Amy Goodman was arrested. Two of her producers were arrested. Uh, one of the producers' face was bloodied. News agencies were harassed and arrested, including uh, Associated Press. And, strangest of all, Food Not Bombs, an organization whose mission it is to feed people. But the FBI and the other uh, groups raiding there were doing they were taking video equipment, they, they were taking cell phones, they were to, trying to prevent journalists from reporting on the events of the Republican convention. Meanwhile, back at the Democratic convention the week before, an ABC producer was grabbed around the neck because they, they were trying to videotape lobbyists getting through to the Democratic Party. Amy Goodman's press credentials were taken by the Secret Service. On Amy Goodman's report on Democracy Now! Monday night, she was detailing the preemptive strikes that the FBI, Homeland Security, and uh, the, the, the police in Minnesota were bringing against journalists. Just a few hours later, she and her producers were arrested. First, the producers were arrested while Amy Goodman was inside the Republican convention interviewing someone. When she came out to contest the arrest to show that those people were part of the, the press corps, she too was arrested. Her producer had been bloodied by the police and she was very understandably concerned. At the Republican convention, many journalists were arrested and roughed up, uh, that is, tortured when police intentionally injure someone that is tortured by law. While Amy Goodman was locked up, a Secret Service agent took her press credentials from her. The Secret Service serves at the pleasure of President Bush. It appears that President Bush himself has taken a hand in silencing democracy now. This, of course, is an impeachable offense. As to the actual business of the conventions, Governor Palin, we're getting such strange and distorted reporting about her. It's reported over and over again that Palin's husband is a commercial fisherman and a sled racer. What's left out over and over again is that he's an oil man. It's reported over and over again that Palin stood up against the oil companies in Alaska. Well, she was in charge of the Oil Ethics Board. Being that she was married to an oil man, that's completely unethical for her to be in charge of that board. That's a, that's a conflict of interest. It was very dishonest of her to take that position. Being in that position, she did make some rulings against oil companies. Not the one her husband worked for. BP profited greatly from her actions. BP, who her husband works for. That was a very deceitful and dishonest thing to do. She has a terrible record as a regulator in that way. As a governor, she's been supporting drilling in the Arctic Refuge and drilling offshore in Alaska. McCain picked the governor from Alaska partly to appeal to the extreme right-wing bigot vote. You see, Alaska is almost all white. It has one representative and two senators. Wyoming is almost all white. It has one representative and two senators. Idaho is almost all white. Two senators. Vermont is almost all white. 
one representative, two senators. Maine is almost all white, two senators. New Hampshire is almost all white, two senators. Washington, D.C. is a majority black, one representative, no senators. The reason they have no senators is because it's a majority black. The Republican Party has prevented D.C. from getting senators for all these years. In fact, they did not even allow them to vote. And as to how inappropriate Biden is, well, we'll have to get to that in another video. Nice to see you.